In a developing story, the attorneys for the owner of the iconic Route 66 restaurant Tally's Good Food Cafe hope the community supports the business after a judge gave Tally a 12-month deferred sentence for stealing thousands of dollars worth of items from Sam's Club. That sentence is similar to probation. Tally Alame will also have to pay nearly $8,000 in the next 30 days. Fox 23's Alex Cash is live with the message from his attorneys. The attorney spoke with us after the sentencing earlier on. They say that Tally cares about the community and has positive impacts. They say he wants to pay Sam's the money for the goods. Talal Alame's attorneys, Brett and Jay Swab, say even though their client didn't pay for items at Sam's Club, they say he didn't mean to steal them, but that he didn't know how the self-checkout app worked. What he admits to is that he did not pay for the items. Um, yes, he is not uh, admitting that he willfully did anything wrong. You have to understand that uh, when our client goes into uh, a store, he spends thousands of dollars every day. And so if you look at the totality of this and you look at the amount of money that was taken and the amount of money that was actually spent, it's about three to four percent of the entire amount, which frankly is the exact, I believe, ratio of loss uh, that you have with those particular apps that are used in the mobile uh, checkouts. The attorney spoke with us as Alame, better known as Tally, the owner of the famous Tulsa restaurant, Tally's Good Food Cafe, was sentenced. Court documents say he went to the Sam's at 41st and Sheridan, 71st and Mingo and in Owasso and stole goods including whipped cream, cheese, sugar and toilet paper. Prosecutors say he used a self-checkout app but didn't scan all the items. Alame's now been given a 12-month deferred sentence which means he won't be going to jail. He's also been given 30 days to pay Sam's nearly $8,000 for the stolen items and he's been banned from shopping at Sam's Club. Attorney Jay Swab says Tally's business has been hit by this case and is asking the community to show him support. Two is I would encourage Tolson's to continue to support Tally. He's been a member of this community for decades. He's given back during holidays and he's employed countless people. He really does care about this community. Um, his business has suffered at the hands of this particular district attorney. And like Brett said, we are making sure that Sam's is whole and we would encourage people to continue to support him and his businesses. The Tulsa County District's Attorney's Office gave us a statement saying it's important to hold accountable those that think they can beat the system. The statement goes on to say that stealing nearly $8,000 worth of merchandise is not a mistake, it is a crime. Live covering News That Matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News. A deferred sentence means the case could eventually be expunged and wiped from Tally's record in a year if no other crimes are committed. That would give him a clean slate.